Right now, the internet is overloaded with mind-bending optical illusions claiming to reveal if you're an optimist or a realist or if you're confident or shy. But do these illusions actually give us valuable information about our personalities and how much can we really trust them? Well, here to untangle this web is Australia's favourite scientist, Dr Carl. Dr Carl, good morning to you. Dr Carl, there's oh. two of you. Oh, ooh, oh it's an illusion. Wow. That's okay. a That's tricky a neat one. <laughs> TV illusion. <laughs> I mean, I've always said two Carls is better than one. Oh, well, I didn't Have you Dr. said Carl that? Neighbours live, face to face. Is that right? Episode 4,550, halfway through their 9,000 series spread. Oh, but that's another network, so let's that's just walk away from that. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> now, how do optical illusions work? Give us the scientific breakdown. OK, you've got sort of three sources. You've got the physical one where you get a stick and you put it in water and it bends, and mm. that's just reality. And then the um, second one is where you're having it physiological. So you know, a flashlight goes off in your eyes and you're seeing these little spots. Yes. And they're not real. Uh, in, they're not actually existing in the world outside you, but that's your uh, physiological thing doing it. And then there's finally cognitive, and they're the ones that we're thinking about where your brain does funny things. And it's based on two things. Firstly, the hippies got this right. Rea reality is for people who can't handle drugs. So your brain... <laughs> your brain... Firstly, it gets rid of most of the enormous amount of information coming in. And then secondly, what's left over, it runs it through an algorithm so you don't actually see what's really there, you see it through a filter. And the second thing is that you are living three-tenths of a second behind reality. From the time that the light lands on your retina to when you get this full 3D colour vision, it's three-tenths of a second and we've all learned how to accommodate with it so we're not really living in reality. That's a fancy so way of calling me a bit slow, Dr Carl, yeah. on national TV. <laughs> we but are, we are all equally slow. So see this one here. All right, yeah, wait, can we go back? So yeah, this is go back one. the cat in the box. Where was the cat in the box? No, is that the, this one? Uh, that was, uh, oh, we'll get to it. Let's look at this illusion first. Um, see the two squares that have got a bar joining them just in the shadows? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you get rid of the bar, they actually are there. See how they look different brightness? Oh, yeah. Yes. They are not different brightness. They are the same brightness, but your brain is saying, oh, there's a cylinder, it's throwing a shadow, therefore one should look darker than the other. Ah, right? Yeah. So that's a case of your brain filtering stuff from what you used to know. Now, give us the next yeah. illusion. Next one. Yeah, so you've got the two orange circles. The orange circles are the same size. No, but they're not. One's they are. One of the rice bigger. bigger. Yeah, but if you, if you measure them with a ruler, they're the same size. Wow. But if you walk up to the TV screen and do it. But if you look at what's around them, you're comparing them what's around. So once again, your brain is not looking at reality. It's filtering it through this oh, filter because there's just like too much information coming in. OK, do we have another one Where's there? the cat in the box? Uh, the cat in the box will come up next. Let's go for the cat in the box. Let's the cat in the box. So you know the cats like to there sit we go. in boxes. Yes. And it gives... It, it sort of fits in because they're an ambush type animal now oh. see around they also if you get a bit of text color or, or tape and you draw on the floor a box even though it's not a real box it's a 2d box i'll sit inside it but look at this see the three pack the four pac-man circles yeah. around yeah. the cat you can if you look at it you can sort of see oh there's a box there you can sort of yeah, see, yeah. see the box. Yeah, right. But that, 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 that's a, a total fiction. It's not really there. But the cat has enough processing, enough dealing oh, with the world to, to think that a that's box. a box. Oh, so wow. even cats, and it turns out some sort of fish, are prone to visual illusions as well. They're slow like us too. Well, the universe is just too complicated. There's, yeah. just, there's just too much <laughs> stuff out there. It's really easy if you just do like 2% of Americans and say the earth is flat. So you can see the cat <laughs> and you can see the box quite clearly. Yeah, here. right. Yeah, and wow. the cat goes, so can I, and, and plop. And then the cat says, gotcha. there's a box there and sits in. Right. Got him. OK, what about the um, the colour on the caravan? Have we got that one? Oh, yeah, OK. That one, once again, you're filtering it. Yeah. So it's white and aqua. I can see aqua and white, like yeah, a okay. white aqua. I can now, see pink. Uh, the pink. resolution's a bit down, but at the front half of the, carol uh, of the caravan, closest to the tow bar, is a shadow. Remember the shadow that was yes. falling yeah. on the checkerboard? You can't see the shadow here oh, because I it's see. overexposed. Yeah, but yeah. in this particular version, it's overexposed. But depending on whether it's in shadow or in light, your brain says, I'll apply a filter. And so you see either aqua and white or pink and white. Well, so then yeah, the difference pink. in that then, the size behind that. So let's say SJ saw the pink and white and I saw the aqua and white. Yeah. Does that mean that she's more empathetic than me or that I'm vastly more intelligent? <laughs> Ah, three well. words, three words. <laughs> Hippie BS. <laughs> OK, cool. OK, right. And then they, to, to try to work out whether somebody is... Left so they were right on the drugs but wrong about the colours. Yeah. I never said anything about two Daves being better than one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here, there's two. Look at you, okay, this is you, great. You cannot use visual illusions as a way of instantly saying... You actually you are have, kind like, quite a symmetrical empathetic. face. Thank you. Yeah, you ah, are. you're symmetrical too. Um, Dr oh, Carl, been fun. wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I think this is what we call dopamine dressing.
Yeah, is what, that wrong? right now? That is another myth because, oh. okay, when, when I started off uh, before when I was a hippie, there was one neurotransmitter in the brain. By the time I got into medical school, there were five. By the time I was finished, there were a couple of hundred. Okay. And to say, oh, it's dopamine, it is just way more complicated than that. Oh, All right. Okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. It's debunking oh. everything. Break your heart, I mean, what Sullivan? can we believe? I'm like three tenths behind everything he says, three tenths behind everything. Believe science. in science. Thanks, Dr. Carl.